What's going on fam? This is Dr. Jolly welcoming you back to my channel. Before we go any further, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button so that you can stay up to date on new videos and announcements. Today, I am going to be talking about the power of no. So I'm on week number three of my burnout recovery plan and I'm just continuing to feel really good. I just have a lot more energy overall. I feel better about life and my life in particular, more present and capable. I'm a better therapist, patient, I'm kinder. I just, I just feel more like me. I'm also feeling a lot closer to God. This plan was all about being intentional about rest and self-care. And for me, that includes making sure that my relationship with God is healthy. So I have been very intentional the last two weeks. I've been intentional not only about staying off of social media and, and staying away from mainstream media, but also intentionally directing my energy toward the things that are important. So I got my trusty planner here, this amazing planner. It's called the Black Queen Planner. Um, and it has everything that I need in it. It has a page of stickers. It has, I don't know how much you can see that in this light. You, you can plan out your week and your month. You can plan out your goals. It has a place for goal setting. Um, there's just so much in here. I mean, it's huge, but it is an amazing resource. And you can find them on Instagram. They're called the Black Queen Planner. So if you're interested in it, go ahead and look them up on Instagram. They're a great company. They're black owned, black woman owned. And I just think it's something that would be beneficial to your life, especially if you're somebody who feels like you need a little bit more structure and organization. In that planner, I literally get to write out all of the tasks and things that I intend to do for the day. And it helps you start your day with a sense of purpose. I'm kind of a nerd. I like when I do a task and I can go and look at my planner and I can check off everything that I did and I was supposed to do. So I've just been making check marks in my little planner all week long and I have been feeling so accomplished and just happy and excited and proud of myself. I really want to address the importance of sticking to your plan. However you decide that you're going to do your own burnout recovery plan, the key thing to do is to carry it out with integrity and stick to whatever you say you're going to do. I do have a confession to make. Earlier this week, somebody sent a link to a group chat that I'm a part of and the link was from Twitter and it was a person's very strong opinion about another person, a public figure, who I happen to like, who I happen to feel, you know, okay about. And the opinion was so harsh, it kind of caught me off guard. And I ended up debating in the group chat about this tweet and about these opinions. And within a very short amount of time, I found myself extremely agitated. And I was really disappointed in myself for even having engaged in the first place. I'm supposed to be unplugged. Because I'm in recovery, because I had detached and disconnected, a lot of the guards that we put up during the day just to kind of function and get through the day and, and it helps us to filter out between the things that are important and the things that aren't important, all of those guards were down because I had wrapped myself in this little bubble. So what I ended up doing was stepping outside of that bubble and I was a lot more vulnerable than I normally am. And I'm not on a break, that would have just been a healthy debate. I would have still gotten passionate about it, but I would not have been so personally affected by the discussion, by the material that was presented. I would have, it would have just been like another thing, but it's a good reminder of the type of things that I was giving my energy to before that added to my burnout. So I had to do a little bit of damage control and I had to fully shut everything down. I had to shut that conversation down. I had to put that group on do not disturb for the rest of the week. I actually turned off the phone for a couple of hours and said a little prayer so that I could get back into the zone that I had been in before I clicked on that link. And that was a very good lesson in the power of learning how to tell myself no. When you're in recovery, 
it's not just about how you feel on a day to day. Recovery means that something has been broken or something was sick and you have to heal. When you're in recovery, you're actually healing. You're not well when you're burned out. It is a mild sickness or illness. It's like a cold. You don't take care of it, it can become worse or you can spread it. So when you're sick, what do you do? You separate yourself, you rest more, you take care of yourself a little bit more than you might if you didn't have a cold because your body is sending you signals that it needs the rest and it needs to slow down. If you are at the point where you recognize that you needed to recover from some burnout, you have to actually take the time to heal. Even if you feel a little bit better, you still wanna to stick to the plan as closely as you possibly can to ensure that you heal and that you heal the right way. I happened to get caught up because I felt better, but I wasn't actually done with my recovery and I experienced a setback. I knew I wasn't supposed to look, I knew, I was like, Nah, girl, it's social media, it's Twitter, you're off this right now. And I said, no, but you're not scrolling. What I learned from that experience was the power of telling people no, including yourself. That was not the last time I got an invitation to look at something or somebody said, hey, I'm on this social media site, add me, friend me. And I had to say, that's a no. Even people asking me to do different favors for them or can you come on here or do this little thing and the answer has been all week long, no, I don't have the energy for that. I don't have the attention for that. I don't have the motivation for that. My energy, my attention, my motivation has to go here. It has to go into taking care of my household. I realized how much of myself I had not been taking care of and I had to learn who and what to say no to and who and what to say yes to. And for the last two weeks, that person has been me. Now on to week three. Technically, the recovery portion of this recovery plan is over. I think I'm fully recovered from the overstimulation. I'm not burned out. I'm definitely not burned out anymore. I definitely have a lot of energy. I've gotten super creative. I'm a lot more the me that I have been and always wanted to be than I had been in the last few months. This week for me is more about refilling and refueling. I've been intentionally spending time with God. This week I'm stepping that up with a daily fast and it's going to go in time increments. So I'm going to go a little bit longer every couple of days. If you're a believer, fasting is a way to remind your body that first of all, it's not in control, your body's not in control, and that God is in control. Because I will be fasting for large portions of the day, I will not be doing my high intensity workouts. Instead, I'm going to be doing more low impact exercises. I find yoga with Adrian to be a really good guide for very low impact, low key, workouts because I still want to take care of my body. I continue to hope that these videos are helpful to you and that you can develop your own burnout recovery plan. My homegirl's putting herself on her own burnout recovery plan. So she gave her sister permission to change all of her social media passwords and guard her access to social media. And they set designated times that she's allowed to be on social media. And if she asks for those passwords outside of the designated time, her sister has to tell her, no ho. I mean, whatever works, whatever it takes. I'm not so much here to give you a step-by-step -step of what you should do to recover from burnout. I'm more here to offer a template. And it's not so much the what or how you do it, it's that you do it. If you know you've been burned out, you know you've been overstimulated, you know there's been too much going out and not enough coming in, you sit down, make a plan, be intentional, and carry it out with integrity, even if that means having to tell yourself and others no or no ho i hope this has been helpful to you guys whatever you decide to do stick with it be proud of yourself note your wins and your accomplishments and i'll see you on the other side